so let's discuss an exercise problem so solution from the mathematical physics book by hk das and uh, rama dr rama verma and uh, this is from exercise 20.1 and problem number 15 so this is uh, related to finding x and y values from the given complex equation so the problem is find the values of x and y if so we need to find the value of x and y from this complex equation given so here you can see 1 plus i into x minus 2i divided by 3 plus i plus 2 minus 3i into y plus i divided by 3 minus i so here what we need to do is we need to convert this equation into a plus ib form then we need to tally it with a real part and uh, then the, we need to equate the real part and the imaginary part on the left hand side and right hand side so equals to i so in this form we need to convert here if we see from the question we can see that uh, in different places i's are there i here 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 in the numerator in the denominator so separately so here i is not standing as a separate one so we need to convert uh, this equation into this form so it's that in this part we would get some equation in x and y and from this part we would get some equation in x and y like that so let's see the solution calculation so this was the question given so this is the question now we need to just simplify so first of all what we need to do is just remove this uh, just uh, remove this uh, 3 plus i and 3 minus i that means we need first of all we need to remove i in the denominator so for that we need to just do rationalization so we are just we have to just multiply with its uh, complex conjugate so complex conjugate of 3 plus i is 3 nothing but 3 minus i so multiplying and dividing with 3 minus i 3 minus i here also the complex conjugate of 3 minus i is nothing but 3 plus i multiplying and dividing with 3 plus i 3 plus i so now uh, we just uh, need to do calculation here so here uh, so this one multiplied with this one first of all so that is this 3 minus i is next this one multiplied with this so the this is that part and here if you see this is of the form a plus b into a minus b so this is of the form a plus b into a minus b we know that uh, a plus b into a minus b is nothing but a square minus b square so in the place of a we are having 3 so 3 square minus uh, uh, in the place of uh, b we are having i i square i square is nothing but minus 1 so minus 1 so finally 9 minus of minus 1 that is 9 plus 1 that is 10 so here you can see it so the, this is the calculation of this similar in the similar fashion here also here 3 minus i into 3 plus i it is also of the same form a plus b into a minus b so a square minus b square so 3 square minus i square so that is nothing but 9 uh, minus of minus 1 that is 9 plus 1 10 so that is regarding the denominator part now let's see the calculations in the numerator part so we just have distributed this so here also this one multiplies with this term so we would get this and uh, next this would get multiplied with this i separately here so we will get this so we just need to do simplification now now from here so 1 into 3 that is 1 into 3 is 3 and uh, next 1 in next 3 into i is nothing but 3i so this part next minus i into 1 that is minus i so next minus i into plus i that is nothing but minus i square i square is nothing but minus 1 so plus 1 so we are getting plus 1 so like that so next here if you see 
minus 2i into 3 that is nothing but minus 6i next minus 2i into minus i that is minus and minus plus uh, 2i square that is minus 2 i square is nothing but minus 1 so next here if you see 2 into 3 is nothing but 6 and next uh, minus uh, 3i into 3 is nothing but minus 9i so and 2 into i is nothing but 2i this part and next uh, minus 3i into i is nothing but i square th minus 3 into i square that is nothing but ma minus 3 into minus 1 that is nothing but plus 3 so we are getting this part and next here i into 3 is nothing but 3i next i into i is nothing but minus 1 so now uh, this is the calculation and next again we need to do some simplification so here 3i minus i is nothing but plus 2i 3 plus 1 is nothing but 4 so next and here minus 6i minus 2i uh, as usual and here minus 9i plus 2i is nothing but minus 7i and uh, 6 plus 3 is nothing but 9 so this is the calculation and next here as usual it is 3i minus 1 so this is uh, still so finally we have accomplished the task of uh, removing i in the denominator so it is uh, free from i now in the numerator we just need to write i terms aside and uh, real terms that means imaginary part aside and uh, real part aside so like that we need to arrange so now here here this is where the actual confusion arises so we are not supposed to keep x and y terms aside and then constants not like that we are supposed to keep a uh, real part aside and uh, imaginary part aside so here we would get some sort of equations so here if we observe this plus 2i minus 6i to plus 2i into x minus 6i so it is consisting of i so it is taken aside that is 2 into x 2x and minus 6 so minus 6 into i so like that we need just need to separate i terms and here next what we will get is 4 into x 4x and minus 2 so this would be the real part for this uh, fraction and here next in the similar fashion here also 9y that is the real part and minus 1 so 9y minus 1 so that is going to be real part and now coming to imaginary part that is the coefficient of i so minus 7y plus 3 that is nothing but plus 3 minus 7y into i so this is uh, i into that part so next now we just need so here it is clearly of the form a plus ib it is also of the form a plus ib now we just need to shuffle along with their uh, numer uh, sorry denominators so uh, we need to just need to do step by step calculations so first of all here here if you see 4x is there 4x by 10 here 9y by 10 so 4x 9y and here minus 2 minus 1 only if we consider the real part so minus 2 minus 1 is nothing but minus 3 so next here 2x is there 2x by 10 and here in the imaginary part if you consider 2x by 10 and here minus 7y by 10 so 2x by 10 minus 7 by 10 and here minus 6i plus 3i that is nothing but minus 3i so this is the calculation and uh, it is easy because though the denominators are same if uh, they were not same then we would have to take lcm everything like that so finally we have got a plus ib form so this is a and this is b 
now we just need to equate the corresponding terms that is real part is equal to real part and imaginary part is equal to imaginary part if we see here on the right hand side there is no real part real part not there means plus zero so real part is equals to this zero so hence this 4x plus 9y minus 3 by 10 is equal to zero and in the same fashion this is the coefficient of i and here if we see the coefficient of i is equals to 1 nothing is then is nothing but 1 into i so this must be equal to 1 so here you can see 2x minus 7y minus 3 by 10 to 1 so if we just do simplification 10 into 0 0 so now sending this minus 3 to the outside plus 3 and here 10 into 1 10 here 10 would remain here 10 is going to vanish because here it is 0 and here 10 is not going to vanish so the here where the calculation mistake arises so while doing we have, we need to be care we need to take more care so here 10 and sending this minus 3 to that side we will get plus 3 that is nothing but 13 so finally we need to solve this one and two equations so here 4x is there here so if we get 4x so for that we need to multiply this equation with 2 and just subtract so 1 equation 1, one minus 2 into 2 so 2 into so this equation into 2 so 2 into 2x 4x and 2 into minus 7y that is nothing but minus 14y 2 into 13 is nothing but 26 and next so we just need to subtract so plus 4 minus 4 and uh, 9 plus 14 is nothing but 23y um, 9y plus 14y and here 3 minus 26 that is minus 23 so 23 ones are 23 ones are so 23 ones are uh, you get and y is also minus 1 finally from this and now, now we need to substitute this value in equation 1 so if we substitute 4x minus 4x plus 9 into minus 1 plus 9 into minus 1 so minus 9 is equal to 3 so sending this 9 to the side we will get 3 plus 9 that is nothing but 12 4x is equal to 12 that means nothing but x is equal to 12 by 4 that is x is equal to 3 so finally we have got the values of x and y so value of x is 3 and value of y is minus 1 in order for the equation to for the given equation to satisfy so for this particular equation in order to satisfy value of x has to be plus 3 and y has to be minus 1 so this is the solution of this problem so thank you